Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sophie. So as for the title of today's video, I'm getting a breast augmentation and I'm so excited to get this done. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm not super excited to be filming this. I hate that I feel like I have to sit here and justify my decisions and defend myself when in reality, I just want bigger boobs. People are going to tell me that I am shallow, insecure, doing it for attention, when in reality, I love my body. I just want bigger boobs. It's pretty much as simple as that. Let me live my life. If someone wants to color their hair, get a piercing, a tattoo, a new car, plastic surgery, like just do whatever you want. I don't think it's a big deal. It doesn't impact anyone other than myself. I feel no pressure to get this done. It's something I've wanted to get done for a very long time. And even if I wasn't documenting my life on social media, I would still get this done. And it really doesn't affect anyone other than myself. So if obviously plastic surgery isn't for you, this video is not for you. If you feel offended by the fact that I'm getting plastic surgery, unsubscribe, block me. If you feel the need to comment something nasty, I'm honestly just gonna sit and laugh at your comment because truly I think it's so pathetic when people judge other people over things that don't affect them in the slightest. So that's that. I thought I would sit down. I quite literally had to force myself to sit down for this video, which doesn't typically happen it's a bit unfortunate but i only have a couple of days before the surgery so it had to get done and one thing about me is i always do what i say i'm gonna do i told myself i would film this series because at the end of the day like my channel is for you guys right you're the whole reason i have this channel um this channel serves you and when I serve you, I serve myself. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This has probably been one of the most difficult videos for me to film just because I know what to expect. I just think it's unfortunate. And again, this video is for any of you who are interested in getting a boob job done. So I grabbed a couple of things for the surgery, like the recovery that I'll take you guys through after I talk a little bit about the surgery itself. So I am currently a 32B, considering I am 5'4 and about 107 pounds. It's kind of a miracle that I have boobs to begin with. By no means do I have big boobs, but like I still have boobs. Um, I have breast tissue and I'm getting 350cc silicone, I think it's mentor memory gel. I will put everything in the description for you guys just to be sure. Now I do want to mention that it's totally not worth your time trying to guess what size you're going to be when it comes to breast augmentation. Just pay the fee, go and meet a surgeon, test out different sizes and go from there. If you don't vibe with the surgeon, then do another consultation. Unfortunately, it can take some trial and error. Where I'm going in Montreal is $9,900 before tax. I think including QST and GST and all the other expenses related to the boob job, like hotel and food and prescriptions, the total cost was around $12,100 for this whole procedure. In my next boob job update, I'll update you guys on that and share like an official price breakdown. I also think it's so important to do your own research and come to your own conclusions based on your desired outcome. For example, the first surgeon I saw was not willing to go above 280 cc. I just knew deep down that wasn't going to work for me if I was spending this much money on a surgery. I wanted the desired outcome. I wanted large breasts and i understand he was playing it safe but at the end of the day like i'm spending a lot of money on this and i saw another surgeon who recommended this size for me and was very blunt that he was not willing to go over a specific size and as much as a lot of people tend to regret not going a little bit bigger he really urged me to stay within a certain range based on my frame to avoid complications like rippling and all these different other things that your surgeon will talk to you about and i'm just super happy that i did my research and found someone who was willing to take the time to listen to me and work with me and also explain and set boundaries as well and as far as surgery goes and like what i'm going for i think that's pretty much all i'm gonna cover in this video um we'll have to just wait and see 
and go from there. So I'll take you guys through some things I bought for the recovery. When I got my rhinoplasty, I binged recovery videos and I noticed a lot of people had really negative experiences. So I was kind of freaking out. I got super anxious and stressed out and it was so unnecessary because everyone heals differently and at their own pace. And for me, my rhinoplasty recovery was a breeze and I truly don't think it could have gone any better. So I'm just going to plan, prepare, and just kind of take it day by day. So I've gathered everything that I got for the recovery haul and I based this list around what others recommend as well as what the clinic recommended for me. I also got a pregnancy pillow, which might sound super random, but I've been having a really hard time with like finding a pillow that works for me. And I sleep on my stomach and my side, so this is going to be rough for me. So I thought between the wedge pillow, this pillow, and the like 10 other pillows I have, I'll hopefully figure out a way to sleep okay. I'm not bothered by sleeping up on the wedge pillow. It's more so just that, like I'm always turning to my side or my stomach. The next thing, obviously I had to get my medications. Now I didn't know this, but you can actually opt out of some medications. I'm not sure if you can opt out of everything, but given that I had so much medication left over from my rhinoplasty, I worked with the nurses to just like kind of use what I already had instead of spending more money on things I didn't necessarily need. I have quite a few things here, but the next thing I'll share with you guys is a really, really easy snack. I find I have to ease back into it after surgery. I was throwing up so much after the rhinoplasty and this is just a really easy snack. Easy on my stomach, easy to eat. You just open that and squeeze it. They also taste so good. So I got two boxes from Amazon and so I'm gonna bring those. And then I also got some earplugs, which may seem super random. These are the best earplugs, these silicone ones. If you ever have a hard time sleeping, I'm going to be staying downtown in Montreal and I don't want my sleep to be interrupted by cars and sirens echoing up because we're going to be in a high rise. The building that we're staying at I actually used to live in because it's half a hotel and then half apartments. I always go there because it's just so familiar and in a super convenient spot but I know exactly what to expect. So bringing these just so I can stick these in my ears and have uninterrupted sleep because I'm sure I'll already be in some discomfort. That's just like a little convenient thing to have as well as a sleep mask for your eyes. Um, I think I have an extra somewhere in the house. I'll try and find that, but I just want to be as comfortable as possible. And then I also got these hydrating face wipes. Now I also got these silicone scar removal sheets, which is something the clinic recommended I buy. I don't remember off the top of my head when I'm supposed to start using them, but I do have a sheet somewhere that tells me. And I also put it into my Google Calendar, which I look at every single day to remind me. I'm getting the implants put in underneath, so I will have a scar uh, underneath, but ideally over time, it'll be hidden and I'm not overly concerned about the scar. Again, I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to take it step by step. And now this may seem kind of random, but I got these ice packs that are like the one-time use ones because I'm going to be staying at a hotel without a freezer and I want to have ice packs with me. I got these really, really great ice packs that I'll link down below for you guys for my rhinoplasty that were just so convenient and perfect. And I think they're gonna be perfect for the boob job recovery because I can like easily like stick them into the bra versus like these ones, which are quite a bit bigger, but I just wanted to have something on hand and if I don't use them fortunately I can just keep them keep them with like our first aid kit and whatever I don't think anything here is going to get wasted and now this may be overkill but I did buy some of these bras for the recovery I'm not sure how many I'll be given by the clinic but obviously I'll want to wash it and I just want options so I got a couple and they just attach in the front so you can see a little bit hard to see but looks just like this and I got them from Amazon and then I also got a band which I'm pretty sure the clinic will give me this 
just like keeps everything in place and holds everything down. Um, again, probably overkill, but I just want to have an extra one on hand because I like being prepared, I guess. So I think that's all for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. And I do have mixed feelings about this series, but I will update you guys and just document and share as much as I possibly can. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it's helpful. I do hope you enjoy this series. And if you do, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one as I prep and get the surgery done.